Let's turn to business news now with Nona Peltier. Hi, Nona. Uh, the New Zealand dollar fell a cent in early trading today following the release of the fourth quarter inflation data, which was much lower than expected. What are the numbers and why did the dollar fall? Well, first of all, it shocked analysts and yeah, yeah. economists. They were expecting you know, something that was little change from the third quarter, but no, it was a lot different. I mean, the... The numbers, the consumer price index rose 0.1% in the three months, and that was from uh, 0 0.5 mm. the quarter before. That's quite a difference. And uh, in terms of the annual uh, rise, it was 1.6% versus the expectation of 1.9. Yeah. So what does this really mean? It means that the dollar dropped a whole one cent like that, boom. Because interest rates aren't going up any time in the future. No, well, I think in the future. I wouldn't say any time in no, the future. No, sorry, you're right. <laughs> in the immediate <laughs> in future. In the future. Sure, Go yes, Nona. I'd say maybe, yeah, uh, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in fact, the economists are still picking a, ri a rate rise in February 2019, so yeah. not for at least a year or so. Yeah. Huh. Um, fascinating. Thank you. The Tauranga Energy Company Trust, sorry, the Energy Consumer Trust. Yeah, it's, it's confusing. Yeah, it is. Why well, this story drove me crazy all day. <laughs> yeah, it's and all of the utilities are complex, aren't they? And the, uh, they are going to quit paying Trust Power's electricity companies their annual dividend from 2023. Why and what's been the reaction? Okay, to that? so basically, there's a there's a, a trust that has a 26% stake in Trust Power, and their consumers that are in the trust that's 58,000 of Trust Power's customers, power electricity customers, get a dividend every year. Uh, you know, from mm. uh, the from the consumer trust. And they're saying, look, we're going to cancel that. We don't want to pay that out after five years from now. So to give you an incentive, we'll give you 2,500 bucks as a check, as a one-time check. And then we'll also give you the dividend payout for the next five years and then nothing. You'll get no more payout. Well, Trust Power is like, we don't like this. Well, that's their customers, right? And a lot of their loyalty is based on this idea that their electricity company uh, customers also are basically shareholders. shareholders yeah. And so they get a benefit from being customers. But if that went away, well, you know, what is the loyalty, huh? Mm. I mean, if you don't own a part of the company anymore, there you go. So anyways, that's a big deal. And it made their share price fall 5%. Just boom, just like that. So at the end of the day, though, not so bad. It ended down just over 3%, but it was pretty yeah, significant. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, that's not the end of the story. I'm sure we'll hear a lot more about yeah, what's going well, yeah, on Yeah, we with sure that. will. Uh, this is a fascinating one, too. A Gisborne-based company is raising money to become the first uh, company to produce medicinal cannabis, medical cannabis in New Zealand. What's yep. it planning? Okay, so this is a company called Hikarangi Cannabis, and they are based in Gisborne, and they set up this business a couple of years ago with hemp. And, well, it was going really well. I guess it's an easy crop to grow there. And they were employing quite a few people. Well, they've just done a deal with a U.S.-based company called Rezo Sciences who are going to uh, take the, whatever they can produce and they're going to manufacture uh, a cannabis, a medical cannabis in the United States. But what this company in Gisborne wants to do is raise money to produce it themselves mm. here in New Zealand, which will be a cheaper product uh, for consumers here and also export overseas and so I spoke with the managing director his name is Manu Kadi and he says um, they're gonna try and tra raise some fun funds from the local community uh, but basically uh, we will hear a little bit about what he plans to do we'll be producing for the domestic market for patients in New Zealand to provide a much uh, more affordable product than what they can get access to at the moment from imported medicines and we'll also be growing for export um, we have some significant orders already for CBD and eventually higher THC. What's your estimate of how much you can produce? Well, we've got plenty of land and plenty of willing workers. The orders that we have at the moment are in the thousands of, of kilograms, uh, both for extract and for the raw flour. You know, we'd expect to be growing tens of thousands of, of plants. We've got about 5,000 growing this season. Tens of thousands. No, no. Hikurangi Cannabis Managing Director Manu Kadi talking to you earlier. How did the markets end up today? Okay, so the index, uh, the top 50 index, rose more than half a percent, 46 points to 8,370. The dollar is trading still very high despite that big drop, 73.8 US cents. That was off that 74.3, so big rise overnight. 91.1 cents Australian and 52.5 pence. Business uh, reporter here in Auckland, Nona Peltier, thank you very much.